Happy good day. I am Brienne from Zenful Mindings and I wanted to wait to make this until I felt a little bit more energetic because I feel a little like meh right now. Um, but that's real and so why not be real? That's part of the whole intention of this. Um, it's a little rainy and drizzly where I'm at and I've had a very emotionally charged week. Um, I don't know about you, but if you're there, you know, there's a lot of big energies out there that are certainly at play. So if you have been having a week similar to mine, know that I am right there with you. And wow, let's breathe out. Let's all take a minute. Let's just breathe out for a second. That feels good. Uh, always, that always feels good. <clears throat> but that is not what I want to talk about today. But great tip for, you know, everyday life. Today I wanted to spend a little time starting a conversation or perhaps some thinking around flexibility with how things, flexibility and how we see things, I should say, as they actually manifest before our eyeballs. That is tremendously challenging um, when things don't seem to be manifesting in the way that we envisioned, right? Um, so what does that mean? So on a yoga mat, um, it might be that we come to a yoga practice, you know, whether we're a beginner yogi or seasoned yogi, um, and our practice doesn't go like how we envisioned it, or maybe we know that we've done a posture before, but today the experience wasn't quite as great, or you know, we couldn't sink in with our breath or really drop into the practice. Um, maybe as a teacher, like your practice doesn't seem to have the, the vibe that you were going for. You know, we can see that manifest in all sorts of ways. We go in there with these great intentions and what we see in front of us is not what we expected, right? And ultimately, part of what's happening there, a good bit of it, is that we are attached to this expectation. You know, we feel like if we go in there with a plan, it's gonna go from A to B to C to D to D, blah, blah, blah. But that it rarely happens, right? Especially on a larger scale. It often goes from like A to Z to C to D to, you know, F to Q. I don't know. Uh, it goes really haywire, but in this, when you step back and you look at it, particularly in hindsight, um, it can be really beautiful to see how that web just like wove itself or yeah, wove itself and where, how it got you to where you are. But in the moment, that is so hard. That is so hard to see because in the moment, we can only see this moment, right? It's very, it's very blinding and tunnel vision causing. And off the yoga mat, you know, that clearly happens with uh, people that we interact with and situations and projects that we encounter, maybe they just don't turn out like how we wanted them to or how we really thought or believed that they would. Um, and that can be positive and negative. It could be disheartening. It could be a great surprising plot twist of beauty in your life. And it could be so many things. But how we handle, uh, particularly those moments where the plot twist isn't so happy, it's not better than our expectations and it doesn't meet what expectations that we had. Uh, I've said this a million times in this video already, but it is hard. It's just hard. And it's hard to sit with it and it's hard to accept it. Um, and it leads to a sort of grieving process, right? Um, is what I thought about the other day, because you are literally being asked to let go of this vision that you had and turn your attention to something else and still find beauty in something that maybe at the moment feels a little ugly. And it's, it's there. The beauty is absolutely there. It's just much tougher to see it. And I'm not even sure that at the end of this video, there's going to be a point other than me expressing my emotions <laughs> for this week. And I guess that's cool too, because that is not the vision I had of this video before I made it, but that is how I feel it's manifesting is into something different. So here we go, real life example. Um, I think in 
everyday life that this happens, certainly for a reason, and it's a reflection of our intentions, our communication, of how we interact with others and how they're interacting with us and their intentions and their communications. And to be honest with you, life is this mad science formula of all of these things happening at once, trying to come together at these points. There's no way to tell. There's just no way to tell how it's going to manifest. You know, you can do what you can do. You can come at things honestly, wholeheartedly with integrity and authenticity, and you can do what you can do. And you can make sure your energy is coming from a good place. And that's enough. And so even if it doesn't manifest the way you wanted it to or how you expected it to, it's enough. And it's good to rise to those challenges and then keep showing up for the next one with that same mindset that it's enough to just give it everything you've got and find that flexibility to view just that act as pure, as energetically beautiful and just pretty much awesome. So I guess I'm going to leave it there. This was interesting for me. I hope it is for you if you've stayed in for the whole thing. So have a beautiful day and please do like, share, subscribe, comment below or message me. I would love to have further conversation with you. Um, please do and have a beautiful, just wonderfully gracious golden day. Thanks.